Yes, my Good people. Night, everybody. Yes, man. So we're on the journey, you know. On the journey, you know. On the road again. Yeah, yeah. Andy Pauline, yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to pick up Andy right, Pauline. So. Remember to like, comment. Yeah, don't forget to hit Malachi. the subscribe button. Yes, man, it's a journey. Uh, outside, but we're inside. We out there. Yes, my paper. Hi, everybody. How you doing this morning? Bright and sunny Sunday morning. This is your girl, Auntie Pauline. And as you see, I am in a different settings, but however, can't too busy to proclaim the word of God, right? So, just gonna give you a few words this morning of encouragement, and then I'll go on my way. We are on the road again, Auntie Pauline. God damn so, just to remind us all that. Jesus paid it all, okay? Jesus paid it all. So just to remind us all that Jesus paid it all, no matter what trials you have faced in the past or currently going through, nothing compares to the suffering that Christ went through for you. So before you start complaining and blaming God, stop and think about how much Jesus loves you and what he has done for you. No one deserves his love, yet because he loves us so much and couldn't possibly imagine heaven without you, he came to this earth to pay the price for your sins and my sin so that you might spend eternity with him we all will spend eternity with him okay so the bible says in john 3 and verse 16 for god say with me for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life love just doesn't get any stronger than that jesus paid it all so if god loves you enough to send his only son to die on a cross just for you don't you think he loves you enough to see you through every heartache every headache every pain every sorrow huh the apostle paul writes about why we should rejoice in our trials in romans 5 22 to 5 it says through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God more than that we rejoice in our sufferings knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope and hope does not put us to shame because God's, God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So, again, listen to this. Jesus paid it all. So stop worrying, man. Stop the worrying. Stop the fussing. And put everything into the hands of God, okay? Just a short word of inspiration for you this morning. This is Auntie Pauline saying, peace out. And remember to like, share, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And comment, alright? So see you later. Come along with me. I'm on the road again. On the road again. Jolene, put up that. Family outings, it is. Malika, say hi. hi. Say hi to my friends on YouTube. Um, Tell them your name. They don't hear you. Malachi. Oh, it's Malachi. That's my grand boy. My personal chauffeur. See me here. No go always to me with him. I'm my personal chauffeur. <laughs> Who is that? 
What are you for? Where is Zara? <laughs> that is me. Next time you are on the other side. What's your table, Abby? What's your table? I'm on the other side. Come around this side.